Okay, so finding ourselves in our chair, using whatever props we need, if you would like your blocks, um, a band or a strap, band, strap, <laughs> whatever you are using, a pillow, um, a pillow behind, a pillow in front, pillow where, whatever you need to use. And then whatever um, for final relaxation when we get there, having that nearby too. So grabbing whatever you need for our practice today and then finding ourselves in the center of our chair or maybe towards the front of it. So your feet can be flat on the floor, but our backs are not, unless you've got some back um, injuries or you've got some other injuries going on. We don't want our backs against the back of the chair. We want to engage our core this whole warm up time. Um, actually kind of the whole time until we get to our legs. So sitting ourselves up nice and tall, feet are planted into the floor, lengthening up through our, our spine. Maybe you're rocking a little bit from side to side or maybe a little front to back just to kind of ground your glutes into your chair, kind of ground your feet into the floor. And let's begin by doing some shoulder rolls. So let's go ahead and roll our shoulders back. Good. And then let's go ahead and roll those shoulders forward. Or the other way. <laughs> Good. Let's roll that back. And roll that forward. And again, roll that back. And you can take that as slow as you need to. I realized it was going really fast and I was like, huh, maybe I should slow that down a little. Good, and then roll that forward. Yeah. Very nice. Go ahead and shake that out a little bit. Let's get a few sun breaths in here. So let's inhale and sweep this up. And exhale this out. And again, inhale and sweeping up. And exhale it out. And inhale and sweep our arms up. Let's keep our arms up at the top here. Place our palms facing out and you can exhale while we are having our arms lifted. Good, let's look over to one side or actually look to your right bicep and then look to your left bicep. And then bring this back to center, drop your chin towards your chest. It's a little bit different with those arms in the air. Good, lift that head up to center. Very nice, let's bring our arms halfway, bring them out to the side, and then take that down, roll those shoulders back, and roll that forward. Good, sun breath here. Inhale and sweep this up, and exhale this out. Inhale and sweep this up, as we exhale, let's drop our right hand to the right side of the chair and just a nice little lean, leaning over. And on this first lean, you might just wanna work on lengthening to the side, or if it feels good for you, you can also work on that twist. That feels really good. Maybe twisting that belly up. Oh, that's a good twist. Very nice. Let's inhale and sweep this up. And let's go ahead and drop our left hand to the left side and just a slight lean. Or if the lean isn't enough for you, you can think about twisting. Ooh, yeah, getting that nice twist, twisting that belly, that rib cage open. Good, inhale and lift this up. As we exhale, let's just go ahead and hold the back of our chair. So opening up our chest, drop our chin towards our chest. Lift that head center, look to the right. And look to the left. Bring that back to center, shake that out. Inhale and sweep this up and exhale this out. Good, inhale and sweep this up. As we exhale, you're either gonna grab the back of the chair again or if you can go a little further, clasp those hands or you can use that strap to hold that strap. Ooh, I'm clasping my hands or you can clasp your wrists. Or again, like I said, you can hold the sides of your chair, the back of your chair, or the seat of your chair. But sitting ourselves up tall, let's look to the right again. So we're getting our neck rotation, neck mobility in with this, while we're opening up the, the chest, the shoulders, stretching through those arms. We're looking to the left, did I say that already? <laughs> Bring that back to center. Drop our right ear kind of towards that right shoulder. 
if again if your neck mobility will let you go there and then bring that to center and then drop left ear ooh, to that left shoulder and then bring that to center go ahead and shake that out good inhale and sweep this up and exhale it out inhale and sweep this up as we exhale this time let's take that left arm across to the outside of that right thigh right hand either on the seat of the chair or you can reach for the back of the chair i'm going to do this first one on the seat of the chair for just a small spinal twist it's kind of our first little spinal twist and breathe as you're twisting here inhaling and exhaling good let's bring that back to center inhale and sweep this up and exhale this out inhale and sweep as we exhale this time let's go ahead and drop that right hand to the outside of the left thigh left hand either to the back of the chair or the seat of the chair i'm going to do the seat of the chair because i did it on the other side so we want to keep that balanced and breathe it here inhale and exhale one more breath here inhale and exhale Good, bring that back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. And exhale that out. Good, roll our shoulders back and roll that forward. Let's take that head and look over to the right again. This time maybe looking a little bit further. Maybe that chin can get a little bit closer to the shoulder, but not bringing the shoulder to the chin. Trying to move that chin to shoulder, trying to get some rotation lengthening in that neck. Bring that head to center and let's look over to the left now. Same thing on this side, trying to get our chin towards the shoulder, not the shoulder to the chin. Getting maybe some lengthening in that neck, maybe some mobility. Bring our head back to center. Drop that right ear towards the right shoulder again. Head to center, left ear towards left shoulder. This is a lot easier without our arms behind our backs, way back there. Bring that back to center and let's do some neck circles. So let's go and drop our chin to chest. Ooh, let's keep this here for a second. Drop that chin to chest. Didn't do this initially. Relax our shoulders away from our ears. So that might take some thinking about to make those shoulders go away, down and back. And now some neck half circles. So right ear to right shoulder, chin back to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Do a few of these, taking this from side to side and making this as slow as feels good for you, as slow as allows you to kind of articulate and move that as much as possible. And that from side to side. Good. Very nice. And then go ahead and drop that chin back to the chest, lifting our head up center. Very nice. Let's inhale and sweep this up and exhale that out. Inhale and sweep this up. Again, let's lift, lift, keep our hands up. We can exhale with those hands up so our hands are lifted, like roller coaster arms. Lifting that up, let's take our legs and move our legs over to the right side of the chair. Take our hands, and now we're gonna take our hands to the top of the back of our, the seat of our chair. Ooh, and use that leverage of the hands on the back of the seat of the chair to help you with a nice spinal twist. Get as deep into this as feels good for you, as feels comfortable for you. Maybe even comfortably uncomfortable, but not painful. So no pain here, but maybe that, that comfortably uncomfortable feeling, that twist. And breathe, breathing deeply, inhaling it and exhaling it. And inhaling that out or inhaling it in and exhaling it out. Very good. Let's lift those arms back up and hands back lifted. And then let's go ahead and take our legs back to center. And then let's go ahead and take those legs over to the left. So legs are over to the left. Let's take our hands to the top of the back of our chair, back of the seat of our chair. And oh, <laughs> good twist on this side too. Use that leverage to get into that deep spinal twist. Comfortably and comfortable, but not painful. We don't, we aren't going for pain here. Breathing deeply and try and get as 
big and deep a breath as you can because that will help expand that rib cage, the front and the back. And it'll help expand that low back, mid back. Very nice. Good, reaching those arms back up. Let's take ourselves back to center. Very good, bringing our arms out to the side, out to our per peripheral vision. Let's take our palms facing up, make some fists, roll those knuckles in towards the wrists. Ooh, that feels good on the, the forearms and the hand. And then let's do that exaggerated bicep curl or that overdoing bicep curl where maybe your thumbs are able to touch your shoulders. If they can't, that's okay. Sitting ourselves up nice and tall, we'll do a little bit of seated cat and cow here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we, we are arching that back. That feels really good. And then we're going to go ahead and elbows together and round this. So this nice seated cat and cow. Let's inhale and open this up. And exhale, round. Inhale and open. And exhale and round. Inhale and open. And exhale and round. Inhale and open. Exhale and round. Inhale and open. And exhale and round. Bring this back to neutral. Lengthen through that torso. Opening those arms back up. And then let's open that all the way back up. Palms up. And now palms down. Hold this here. And we're going to do some rotating forward. So we're going to make some shoulder circles arm circles. So warming up those shoulders still, warming up our arms. My arms are warm. My shoulders are a little bit on fire. And then let's go ahead and circle that backwards. And if your shoulders are still on fire, that's good. Welcome, welcome to yoga today. Yes. Keep those circles. Very nice. Maybe you're feeling it in your, your neck. Back in your traps, maybe in your lats. Good. Let's find some stillness here and then release that down. Very nice. Roll our shoulders back and roll that forward. Shake that out. Inhale and sweep this up. And exhale it out. And again, inhale and sweep this up. And exhale this out. Good. Let's do some seated sun salutations. So go ahead and place your blocks where you want them. If you're using blocks, you don't have to. You can have your hands on the floor or hands on your shins or hands on your feet. Or if you've got books, if you don't have blocks, but you have books, you can use books too. And the height can be different. So I like the blocks because they can you can do different heights, but I'm sure you can do the same with books as well. All right. So sitting ourselves up nice and tall, still not sitting against the back of the chair. Let's go ahead and inhale and sweep our arms up. As we exhale, we're going to dive it down and over into our seated forward fold. If you need a pillow between your belly and thighs, then feel free to use that. Feel free to grab that, put that between the belly and the thighs. Got our hands on blocks or on the floor or on your shins. Let's go ahead and lengthen here. Inhale. And then exhale, release back into that forward fold. Inhale and lengthen. And exhale, release. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. We're going to change this a little bit. Inhale and sweep our arms up. When we exhale, this time we're going to clasp our hands behind us, opening up that chest. Ooh, yeah. So we get a little bit more opening here. Look to the right. Look to the left. Head back to center. Bend at our elbows, hands over to right waist, squeeze elbow back. And then switch sides over to left waist, squeeze elbow back. And release. Inhale and sweep this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Hold this here. Hold this lengthening. Now we're thinking of our spine. Our tailbone is pointed down towards the seat of our chair. 
It's a nice arch angling up, crown of the head lifting towards the ceiling. Good, let's go ahead and press our right hand into that block and then lift open with the left side. So we've got a spinal, spinal twist here. And if the mobility of your shoulder, of your arm, won't let your arm go up very high, that's okay. Go where you can go, or you can also have your hand on your um, ribs if that feels even better for you, if you've got some shoulder issues. Otherwise, you've got that arm open, breathing this here, and then release that and relax. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. As we exhale, clasp our hands behind us again. Good, opening that chest. Good, look to the right, look to the left. Head back to center, bend at elbows. Hands over to the left, elbow back. And switch sides, hands over to the right, elbow back. Good, release that, inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen, hold this long spine here and exhale it out as we are holding this long spine, lengthening through that. Let's take our left hand, place our, place our left hand into that block, right arm up. And again, same thing, if you've got some mobility issues, arm can be up, it can be out, it could be on that rib cage. But trying to find balance here, trying to do as much as, as much of the same as you did on the other side. So I, I know that this arm doesn't go as high as my other side does. That's okay, I'm working towards it. And it stops there. Good, go ahead and release that and relax. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Hold this here. You can exhale this here. Right hand is gonna go right back into that right block. Let's open that left arm again and breathe. Good, release that and relax. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen, hold this here. Good, you can exhale while we're holding. Let's take our left hand, press our left hand into that block, right arm twists up and breathe. And then release that. Good, inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, let's hold this here. Let's sit ourselves up. So sit ourselves right on our glutes. Lengthen up through our spine. So think about that um, each vertebrae stacking up super tall. Maybe you have to take your shoulders down and back again. And we're gonna do a hip hinge. So let's inhale it here. As we exhale, let's go ahead and hinge this and do a seated spinal twist. Trying to get our right elbow, our right tricep to our left thigh. Pressing our palms together. Maybe looking up at the corner of your room or up at your uh, ceiling. Breathing deeply. Love this one. This is very good. Let's bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Sit ourselves up tall again. So lengthening up through that spine. Glutes are pressed down. Inhale deeply here. As we exhale, let's go ahead and hinge and twist. Oh, twisting to this other side. I don't know if you find that. If you have one side where it's like, woo, 
is it's way different than the other side, or maybe not. Maybe you've got both balanced sides today. Pressing our palms together and breathing, breathing deeply here, inhaling and exhaling. And maybe you're able to look up at the corner of your room or up at the ceiling and breathe. And bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Let's go ahead and exhale. Clasp our hands behind us again. Opening up that chest. Can never get enough of the chest openers. That's very good. Let's look to the left this time. Looking to the left. Look to the right. Head back to center. Drop our left ear towards the left shoulder and drop our right ear towards right shoulder. Bring that head back to center and then let's go ahead and release that. Shake that out. Good. Roll our shoulders back and roll that forward. All right. Let's get our legs going so we can move our blocks off to the side. We're still not up against the back of that chair yet. And we're going to go ahead and go into our staff pose. So if you need to do a single leg staff where you just have one leg up, if that's what you can do today, then go for that. Otherwise, we've got that, that um, staff pose, full staff pose, not up against the back of that chair. Let's flex through our feet, reach up through our arms. This is one of our, our most difficult poses because we're having to do this ourselves with our core, with the strength of our legs. Breathe it here, three breaths. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And big deep inhale and exhale it out and big deep inhale and exhale it out. Wonderful. Let's release our arms down. Hands either to the thighs or holding onto that chair. We've got hamstring curl and leg extension. We're going to do 10 of them right here. So let's curl this in, keep our feet super duper flexed and extend. There's 10. Curl this in and extend, there's nine. Curl this in and extend, eight. Curl this in and extend, seven. Curl this in, keep those feet flexed and extend, there's six. Curl this in and extend, there's five. Curl this in and extend, there's four. Curl this in and extend, there's three. Curl this in and extend, there's two. Curl this in, we're gonna hold this next one. Hold this extension. Good, let's point those toes and flex our feet. And point the toes and flex the feet. My quads are burning. Point the toes and flex the feet and point the toes and flex the feet. Good, release our left leg. You can scoot yourself forward. So our left leg is down. Keep our right leg lifted. You can even hold that leg up if you want. And we've got a boat pose. Trying not to get our back against the back of the chair yet. Trying to hold this. We've got this single leg right here, single leg boat. A breath or two here. Let's do two breaths. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. One more breath. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. Wonderful. All right, bringing ourselves up. You can release this leg, lengthen through our left leg. So go ahead and lengthen through that, flex through that foot. Let's take this right ankle to our left shin and hinge it forward here. Ah, so our small or our lengthened figure four. This is our first piriformis. We'll get into our other one in a moment. But this is a really good, nice beginning one to start off with. So we've got this nice little hinge forward ankle. Our foot is on that shin. And then let's go ahead and bring ourselves up. Now we can scoot ourselves back to the back of the chair. And let's go ahead and bring our right leg in. Give our right leg a nice big hug. That feels good. So good. Let's go ahead and wrap that left arm around. And twisting to the right. Very nice. Breathe it here. And then go ahead and twist it to the left. Breathe it here.
and bring that back to center. And now let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it onto our left thigh. So now we've got that full piriformis or that full figure four. Sitting ourselves up nice and tall against the back of the chair and find your hinge here. So let's go ahead and find where we're gonna be able to hinge today. Every day is different, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you've got super tight hip flexors like I do. And every day is not different, it's the same. <laughs> But hinging this forward, leading with that chest, trying not to round our spine. Once we round that, it takes that stretch right out of where we need it. So it takes it right into those shoulders and that back. So we want to keep our chest open, keep our shoulders back. Ooh-wee. Hold it in that hip. All right, now we're going to add our breath. Let's sit up tall against the back of that chair. Inhale it deeply. As we exhale, hinge this forward to that spot before your shoulders start to round. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. And inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. Good. bring this back to center. We're going to do a little double duty on this, this time on the side. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Take our left hand to our right thigh, right hand to the top of the chair, and add in a spinal twist with the piriformis. It's the best of all the worlds right here. And breathe. All the worlds. Yeah, both. Yeah. Breathe it deeply. Got it. And bring this back to center. Maybe give a little twist the other side. Very nice. And bring that back to center. Good. Let's go ahead and take this into half shoelace. So let's take that right foot to the left corner of the chair. So we're crossing this over. And let's go ahead and wrap this left arm back around that. Ah, oh, oh. And we get this wonderful IT band stretch. And so good. So good for that hip, so good for that outer thigh. And it is time to bend. Breathe it deep. And let's twist it to the inside. Twist this to the left. Good, and then bring that back to center. Very nice. Give that a nice big hug. And let's go ahead and cross that. Shake that out. Scoot ourselves away again because we've got our staff pose again. If you did the right leg last time, you're going to do the left leg this time. If you did both legs, and do both legs again. Let's lengthen through that. You can do this. Let's reach up through our arms. And we've got three breaths here. Inhale it deeply. And exhale it out. And inhale it deeply. And exhale it out. And one more time. Inhale deeply. And exhale it out. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and release those arms down. And 10 hamstring curl and leg extensions. Let's take this in for 10. And extend. There's 9. And extend. There's 8. And extend. There's 7 and extend. Here's six, and extend. There's five, and extend. There's four, and extend. Here's three, and extend. Last two, and extend. We're gonna do one more, we're gonna hold that extension. So let's hold this, good. Go ahead and point those toes, flex the feet, point the toes, Flex the feet, sit yourself up tall, point the toes, flex the feet. I was telling you because I was rounding too. Point the toes and flex the feet. One more time, point the toes and flex the feet. Very nice. Let's go ahead and release our right leg. Good. Scoot ourselves forward. Keep our left leg lifted and let's find our boat on the left side. Two breaths here. Let's inhale it deeply and exhale it out. One more time, big deep inhale. And exhale it out. 
Good. And now we can release this leg. Let's lengthen through that right leg, left ankle to that right shin. And ooh, figure four, piriform a stretch right here on this side, hinging right at that the hips. Very nice. Breathe. Good, and then release that. And we can scoot ourselves back to the back of the chair, grab that left leg and bring that left leg in, give that left leg a nice big hug. Let's wrap that right arm around that left leg. Let's go ahead and twist that to the left and breathe that here. And then twist it towards the inside or towards the right. And bring that back to center. Good. Let's take this into that full figure four right here. And find on this side your hinge. Find where you're before your shoulders start to round. Oh. <laughs> And breathe. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and sit ourselves up tall and we'll add in that breath with that hinge forward. So let's inhale it deeply here and exhale hinge. Inhale it up tall and exhale hinge. And inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. And inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. Good, one more time. Inhale it up tall. And let's hold this next one as you exhale. And hinge. Good. All right, let's inhale, sweep our arms up, take our right hand to our left thigh, left hand onto the back of the chair, and let's twist that. Ooh, spinal twist with that piriformis on this other side. Very nice. Breathe it here. And then twisting that to the right. Ah, so good and bring that back to center. Very good. Let's take this into half shoelace. Let's go ahead and take that left heel to the right corner of the chair. And let's wrap that right arm back around that left leg, or not back around, but around that left leg, and get that wonderful um, IT band stretch and hip stretch on this ooh, left side. Goodness gracious, and breathe. And then let's go ahead and twist it towards the inside. Twist it to the right. And then bring that back to center. Give yourself a nice big hug again, and then release that. Good, let's take ourselves over to the left side of the chair. Let's take our left leg behind us and we'll find ourselves in our supported crescent. So we've got that front leg, nice 90 degree. Okay. Yeah, front leg nice and degree. Back leg is nice and straight. Heel is lifted, toes are pressed into the floor. And let's go ahead and reach up through this. Ooh. And because we have the support of the chair, you can definitely, if you want to, if it feels good for you, work on a little bit of a back bend. That support of the chair is nice because then you don't feel like you're going to fall back if you do, if you are working on a little bit of back bend. Let's go ahead and take our right hand, drop that to the right side of the chair, and let's reach this over. Good, still breathing, using that deep breath that we've been doing all morning. Deep inhale and that deep exhale. Breath is so valuable, so important. Let's go ahead and take hands right there to the hips, 
it's valuable and important for life, but yet it's valuable and important in helping us release tension and stretch through our muscles. So hands are on the waist. Got that nice twist here. Feels good. Good. Let's bring this back to center and let's go ahead and take our right leg and give our right leg the seat. Let's take our left leg off to the side. Scoot that away. Our left leg is off to the side and your toe can be pointed forward. It can be pointed out. It's wherever it feels best. Your ankle feels best. Your ankle's nice and neutral. I think I'm going to point mine inwards because I'm going to work on a little bit of ankle flexibility. So you can do that too. This is your practice. So you can work on what you want to work on. If it feels better to have it out, or if you want to work on a little bit more mobility, flexibility right there, let's lengthen up through our arms. We've got a nice center stretch, really reaching up through this. Let's drop our right hand again. So drop that right hand to the right side of the seat of the chair and let's lengthen over. I feel this a lot more in my back today. Normally I feel this lengthening through the side. I'm doing it in the back today. So that's interesting. And breathe. Good. Let's windmill this arm. So let's windmill this arm to the side of the thigh or the back of the thigh and reach that other arm over. Ooh, that feels good. This nice side stretch right here and breathe through that. And let's release that. Good. Let's go ahead and turn this into pigeon. I heard somebody call this swan the other day, and I was like, is it a swan? I always thought it as a pigeon, and I learned it as a pigeon. So it was interesting. But you can think of it as a swan. I like pigeon. Let's lengthen through that back leg. Heel is lifted, toes are pressed into the floor. Let's reach up through this. Reach up through those arms. Good. And we're going to do that nice forward fold. So your forward fold can be supported on those hands. It can be down onto those elbows, or it can be all the way forward folding over, um, depending on where your mobility is at today, how your flexibility is feeling. I'm super not extra flexible in my hip or my glute today. So I'm, yeah, having to have the, the block at the full height and not really getting a lot of that, but that's okay. Every day is different. And I'm remembering how far I'm going on this side so that I know what to do on the other side too. Because remember, we want that balance. We want to make sure that we're balancing out our stretching on both sides of the body to help prevent injury. Good, let's bring ourselves back up to center. Reach back up through those arms. Lengthen back up through that. Good, reaching up through our arms, up through our torso. Still nice, active and strong back leg. And then let's go ahead and release those arms to our side. Very nice, let's find our warriors. So let's go ahead and do some warrior one, warrior two. Actually, we'll start off with warrior two. So we find our warrior two legs, front knee is bent, back leg is nice and straight still. Let's lengthen through our arms. And now we find our supported warrior two. Relax that face, relax that jaw. Everything else is strong and working here. Legs are strong, torso is strong, neck is strong, arms are strong. Let's go into a reverse warrior. Drop our back arm, take our palm up. Reverse warrior or peaceful warrior and breathe this here. And you may, I don't know, it feels good for my neck. You can be looking up or you can also be looking back behind you at that back leg. So there's different options for your neck too, just depending on how you're feeling. Or you may want to like move it. Eyes up and then eyes down. Good, back into that proud warrior. From our proud warrior, let's go into a warrior one. So just keep, we're keeping our foot down and just turning that torso and lengthening it through our arms. So nice warrior one. And if your heel does lift off, my heel is lifting off today. I think it's because my back is tight. 
So if your heel lifts off, just recognizing that. Good, from our warrior one, let's take it back into that proud warrior, and then we're gonna move it into side angle. So let's take that arm to thigh, other arm over. Nice side angle, keeping this leg, side leg active, that left leg is active, and breathe. Good. And then bring this up, and then release that down, very nice. Let's go ahead and take ourselves over to the other side. Yes. So taking ourselves to the right, we've got our left leg on the right side of the chair. We've got our right leg behind us. Let's find our supported crescent on this other side. Oh, that feels really good. It's a good release right there. Let's lengthen up through this, lengthen up through our arms, lengthen up through that torso. Good. Let's take our left hand. Drop that down to the left side of the chair. We would get that nice side stretch. I love this and breathe it. And then let's go ahead and twist this. So the hands right to the hips. Do a nice seated or spinal twist. Maybe you can look back at that leg. and bring this back to center. Let's take that leg, left leg to the seat of the chair. Get that left leg to the seat of the chair. Take our right leg off to the side and take ourselves center. So take that torso up center, reaching up through this, legs off to the side. And same thing on this side, working on that foot. If you were working on your rotation on the other side, go ahead and try and work on that rotation on this side, or you can keep your ankle or foot neutral. So listening to your body and working on that balance. So try and do the same thing on both sides. Good, let's go ahead and take that left hand back down to the left side of the chair. And let's reach this over. Ah, a nice side stretch here. And breathe. And then let's go ahead and switch that reaching over or windmill that arm, reaching that over. And then go ahead and release that. Let's turn this, take it into that pigeon. So back heel is lifted, toes are pressed into the floor, back leg is active. Let's reach up through that center again. Ah, that feels good. Feels good on that front leg. Or that bent leg, the leg that's up in front of us. Good, reaching up through this. And let's find our forward fold. So folding to where you were folding on the other side. Remembering we were working on that balance. So finding that spot that you were on the other side and trying to get there on this side as well. And breathe. Good. Let's go ahead and press ourselves up, bring ourselves up, huh, and find our warrior two legs. So we'll move into warriors on this side. So front knee is bent, back leg is nice and straight, ankle is neutral or and slightly inwards. For our night, ooh, nice warrior two. There we go. Relax that face, but everything else is strong here. Legs are strong, torso strong. Core is strong, arms are strong, chest, neck strong. Relax that jaw, relax that face, and breathe. 
Good, drop our back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior. And then back into that proud warrior, back into that warrior two. From this warrior two, let's just turn our torso, arms lifted, warrior one. Oh, just that slight movement, that slight turn, it opens up that hip joint even more. Maybe you're feeling in the hip joint, maybe you're feeling up in the oh, low back. It should be a little challenging. If you feel very stiff, that's okay. It's because we haven't, we don't do warrior one a lot. From this warrior one, let's take it back into proud warrior, warrior two. And then let's take it into side ankle. So taking that arm right there to that thigh, other arm over and breathe. Good, and bring ourselves up back into that warrior two, and then release that. Let's do that wide-legged um, hip opener. Take our blocks to the inside of our feet, scooting ourselves forward. Let's go ahead and take that right hand onto that right block, and let's open this up. Nice wide-legged seated spinal twist. And breathing, breathing, breathing. Let's bring this to center, inhale and sweep this up, and let's drop that left hand down. Same thing on this other side, so breathing here. And you might find one side is tighter than the other. I definitely finding that on this side, my glute wants to lift up because of tightness. So re recognizing just little things like that, not that you're trying to like fix it, fix it, we're recognizing it so we know, oh, um, that's a little bit off. Maybe I did something weird or just recognizing it and knowing that it's there and then working towards balancing it, towards smoothing that out. Maybe you need to send your breath there a little bit more. I'm trying to do that to myself. Sending my breath down into my hip. Good, let's inhale and sweep this up and then release that. Very nice. Let's bring our legs together and we're gonna go into two. Let me up a little bit. There we go. All right, we're going to go into a seated forward fold. So let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over, belly resting on the thighs. Feet pressed into the floor. We're going to go into our first standing forward fold. So let's go ahead and press those feet in. Let's lift our glutes up off the chair. And oh, yeah, nice long lengthened legs, stretching through our calves, stretching through our hamstrings. Very nice fold. From here, let's go into a nice tabletop. So flatten that back, lengthening those arms, looking forward. And then release that. Let's take a seat back into the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Feet pressed into the floor. Let's lift our glutes up off of the chair. Standing forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Take a seat back on the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Feet pressed into the floor. Let's lift our glutes up off the chair. We're gonna stay in the standing forward fold. So we're not gonna take a seat again. We're gonna lengthen as much as we can through these legs. Maybe gripping those toes into the floor, gripping those heels into the floor. Let's inhale, lengthen through the spine, nice tabletop. Exhale and release. That head has been low. We're gonna inhale into a nice mountain and then a cactus. So let's inhale and sweep this up into a nice tall mountain pose. And then cactus our arms back behind us. Good, inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flat back, tabletop. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. 
Exhale, cactus those arms back. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale and lift this. And then let's go ahead and release our arms to our sides. Very nice. Let's move that chair. We're gonna take ourselves down onto our backs, legs on the chair. We're going to do um, a shoulder stand and then we're gonna move into final relaxation. So grab whatever you need for that. Grab um, a block or stiff pillows. Grab your eye pillow. If you use an eye pillow or grab your blankets, whatever you use for final relaxation when we get there. So let's go ahead and take ourselves all the way down onto the floor. Scoot ourselves nice and close to the chair. Take our legs up onto the chair. And if you don't use the chair, if you can't use it, if you need your support for your legs, then scoot up against the wall and put your legs up against the wall. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take that block or your books, whatever, or stiff pillows, not books. Books would be kind of painful. If you could use books, but you need to put a blanket over it. We're going to take that block or stiff pillows, place them right underneath your sacrum. So right underneath that low back to have that low back lifted to help us with our modified shoulder stand. We've got that chest open, palms open, and let's go ahead and lift our legs up towards the sky and enjoy this inversion. So this can be stillness for you. Those legs can be still, or you can be pointing and flexing, or you can allow those legs to come off to the side, or they can go back and forth. So just listening to that body, whatever feels best for you today, if some movement feels good for you today, then maybe you can move those legs towards you or away from you, or if that stillness feels good for you, but listening to that body and enjoying having those legs above the heart and breathing. And like I said, if you need to have support here, you can always have those legs up against the wall. But this inversion is so good for us. Cycling through that breath while those legs are lifted. Remember, big deep inhale, big exhale. Good, let's go ahead and release one leg, release the other leg, very nice. Let's take our right ankle, place it onto left thigh, and then go ahead and press that inner left or inner right thigh away with that right hand. So let's do our, our little final piriformis stretch, hip stretch of the day, and then release that. Good, take it to the other side. So left ankle to that right thigh, press that inner left thigh away. And then release that. Good, release that leg. Very nice. We've got that block, go ahead and move that out from underneath you. You can move your gear away and let's move it into some relaxation, some relaxation, because you definitely deserve it. We've got that eye pillow. You can place that eye pillow over your eyes as we lengthen our arms towards one end of the room and reach our feet, our toes towards the other end, adding an inch or two to your height here. Really reach through that, reach through fingers, reach through arms, reach through legs. Low back is maybe lifted up off of the ground. Breathe. And big deep inhale here. With an exhale, let's begin to sink and settle. Those feet fall open. You might even want to point and flex those feet. Using this time for deep breathing, relax your face, slowing things down, widening that 
body quieting the thoughts. So relaxing. Let's go ahead and bend our knees and tuck our tailbone under. Maybe your low back can press into the floor. Let's drop our knees over to our most comfortable side and take yourself onto your side. Spend a couple of breaths here on your side. And then let's slowly begin to bring ourselves up, finding a seated pose that feels strong for you. And lengthening up through our spine, lengthening up through that torso. And let's inhale and sweep those arms up, bring our palms together. And exhale, eyes following our fingers, take our chin to chest. Lift that head center, take fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Take our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. Take our hands to our hearts. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth in the light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given a spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and a sound and peaceful mind. Inhaling it deeply and exhale. And one more time, big deep inhale. And a big cleansing exhale. And have a blessed rest of your day. And we'll see you next time.